Hey everybody, Wrights Crispy here. This next video is a follow-up to a video that I did about Jesse Lee, who was thrown in the back of a cop car and roasted with the heater on in the middle of summer in Gulfport, Florida. Well, after that video came out, Jesse went to the public sidewalks and protested, trying to gain attention of the city commissioners, who now had a chance to see the full story. Well, he got attention from a couple of Karens. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Hi. Howdy. Hi. Hi, we know him. Okay. This person. He's very scary. What's he doing? He's screaming at us. What's he screaming? All I did was ask him because he was standing in front of Miss Beryl's booth and she's nice and so she's not going to ask him to move. So all I did was ask him to move and he goes, you don't, you are just a white privileged woman. She don't need you speaking for him. And he's in my face. He's screaming at people. He's yelling at everybody on the sidewalk. He's just, he's been here all day. I've left him alone, but now he's scaring me. I mean, look, I'm, and I don't scare no, people. Okay, before we listen to how scared this Karen was in her version, let's watch what really happened because Jesse may be loud, but he's not stupid and he knows his rights. He recorded the verbal altercation that the Karen initiated. He was on the sidewalk addressing his council member and telling him where to find the video. He was standing in front of the booth belonging to a woman who he was having a friendly conversation with just a minute earlier. That's when the Karen in the neighboring booth began accosting him saying, no wonder you got your ass beat, quote unquote. She told Jesse to get away from in front of the other woman's booth. Since Jesse was on good terms with the other woman, he told that Karen not to speak for her and to mind her business. That's when another Karen joined in. She happens to be the owner of their local paper and she admits on body cam that she doesn't like Jesse. But Jesse dropped a truth bomb on her. And without getting into it, I'll let you look up the information about this guy, her employee, and the atrocious crimes for which he's convicted and registered. Ian, council members right there. He yep. won't even stop and send you to say anything. Got his wife over there laughing at my sign. They take nothing They're serious. Gross. They have karma coming to them. Yeah. We and I free. vote for him. Yeah. That's the bad part. <laughs> Since you said you're going to go watch the video, let me give you the video link. He knows better. No, I just want to give it to you. So you hop on YouTube, and what you do is you put in rights, like civil rights, and then crispy. Crispy chicken, rice crispy. And you'll hear your officer literally admit, and they attempted to have me murdered in the back of one of your cop cars. Okay. Now, I voted for you, so let's hopefully, in this, at least this, you'll do something about. I think you can go somewhere else instead of in front of her Shh. No, sir. Shh. No wonder you got your ass. Mind your business. Mind your business. I'm talking to I'm talking into to my council member. Mind your business. This is a city public sidewalk. Mind your business. I don't know why you're speaking for her. I don't know why you're speaking for her. She asked me to move, I would move. Go over there. You've done nothing except besides snicker and snicker and snicker. So back up to your stuff and go where you paid. And leave me alone. Another white woman is in privilege. Oh really? Yeah, really. No one, they don't need you to speak for them. Not one of them needs you to speak for them. She's got a voice. She's got a voice. She don't need you speaking for her. Leave me alone. I'm on a public sidewalk. Leave me alone. So, you're going to tell everyone about that pal you hired? Not in front of You're going to tell everyone about that child that works for you? Go let them know. Let everyone know. Instead of about the check stuff, yeah, two counts. Two counts, right? You're lying, Jesse. Two, two. 2017, 2018, what? 12 counts each? Yeah, he's yeah. hanging out of your nose. Oh, uh, okay. Walk away. You smell like shit. Go somewhere else. You and your fake newspaper. He's uh, aggressive. Well, did he did he threaten to do anything to you? No. No. Can you? That's me. He lives with people. No, I know. He, yeah, he, he's just very scary. It was scary. Well. He was, he was, he was in her face. I started like, videotaping it. Like, can I see it? It scared me to death. Of course you can. You can have it. He's, he's... Look, she's shaking too. Because he and got he in makes her me, face. He makes me very angry. It's not new. He get, he get, he got in her face. Target and script just... What, I only got four seconds? Can't be right. So. Yeah. Well, I'm so good at this. You know, I do it all the time. I try to 
I try to use my video to capture stuff on so vacation, stuff I'm like that. No, it is what it is. I thought I was getting some good. He's been out there all day. He's been out there all day. Yeah, he's allowed to be there. Yeah. Well, he came came up to her face. That was. He did. And all I did well, was, politely, I said, can you just move over because you're in front of her booth? And he just started going off on me. And he's like, I have every right to be here. This public sidewalk, I go, but we pay to be here as vendors. We're trying to conduct business, mm -hmm. you know. And he just kept going off, and then he just started telling me I'm white privilege and I'm this and that, and just screams at me, just screaming at me. And and I I wish there was something I could do about that particular behavior, but I can't. What's disturbing the case? I was going to say because this is definitely it's very the it's case. very broad. And for us to actually make physical arrest of this person, we actually have to physically witness it. I don't want him arrested. I just, can you just ask him to move? Can you just move him? No. Oh it's it's, it's a public sidewalk. Me? It's a public road. Because Beryl's terrible. It's just like the people Beryl's that scared ask signatures. Beryl's scared. Well, she, so, is, so is Asia. Like, we're all like, I'm, like I don't scare easy, but. Like, and I, and I can tell you from personal experience that there are people in this world that are loud and obnoxious and run their mouths and get in your face and stuff like that. Don't pay him no mind. I promise you. It, I've don't pay him, him all day any. He's been just right there. Don't ignore him. He gets, I should have ignored him too. But don't I pay him any mind because he he. There are people are in this world that want that confrontation. They won't do anything to you. They'll yeah. run their mouths. You know, they run their mouths. They get all kind of vindictive. They'll say all kinds of nasty junk to you. Boy, that's what he did to her. Now. And me both. If it's persistent, like if it continues for like on and on and on and on with no legitimate freedom of speech purpose, is there some way to get disorderly conduct potentially? But it's disorderly conduct is a weird statute that it's really open for interpretation. The only one thing you can get somebody for disorderly on is if they're openly brawling in public, like if they're openly fighting in public like that, that's disorderly. Or disorderly intoxication, where somebody is intoxicated and they do things that are unsafe, that hurts their safety right. and somebody else's safety, that's easy to do. But, he but the garden the variety, yeah. Yeah. He got to me without <coughs> oh, yeah. yeah. He knows what he's doing. I mean, I, I just. He just scared the crap out of me. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I don't scare easy, but. Like, he made me very, yeah, I was scared. No, and we know who he is. He's been out there for the last week. He's going to be out there until time ends, I guarantee you. I should have known this morning, I got an email at the Gabber with a link to police keep man in hot car for hours. It sounds like the cops in the car with him, too. Because I watched in the car with him, and the cops saying, the window's down, the air is on. I don't know what to tell you, man. The world is strange. Yes, ma'am. Have you run that tag? I could. I'm not gonna. Okay, then I'm gonna. I just, I don't have a reason to. I, you know, it's one of those things where like why. Okay, I just want to know if you yeah. got it. That's all. Yeah, I haven't run it. Well, well, I, I, didn't mean to, run it. I didn't mean to bother you guys. Oh, that's not a bother. I totally get it. Like, like seriously, I was, I was actually scared because he yeah. was just so in my face. That's why, like, did he, like, can you describe how he was in your face? I don't want to do it to you. No, 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 no. I'm, was, that's why I'm asking. I'm not going like, to. He was like that screaming. At and okay. screaming, like almost spitting in my face. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm an older lady. I don't. Hey. I, I bet we're the same age. <laughs> that's why you're not older. <laughs> yeah. Or about the same age. I mean, I can certainly try to talk. The guy's not going to talk yeah, to me. Yeah, but he left. He's going to be just he's as. Gone. Good. Good. Yeah, he's oh, down good. the street. He's down the street somewhere. Right. Okay. He, he's going to be good. just as rude to me, if not more, than to you. Oh, he's yeah. actually assaulted Josh before. Yeah, he threw he threw a disc at me behind my say, oh, on my back. I was you the guy, I was the guy that cost him. To, not I'm not the guy, but it was my incident with him that cost him to be in the back of that police car. So. He's just like, if I wouldn't have felt threatened, I wouldn't have called because I don't do that. I wouldn't yeah. have bothered y'all. Yeah. But I literally felt threatened. And what just specifically did he say? Just. Oh, well, he told me that I don't need to be speaking for these two ladies because they're both black and I'm nothing but a white privileged person that gets everything basically handed to them <laughs> and that I can move along and it's none of your business, mind your own business. I'm like, but this is my business. We pay to be here. We're trying to conduct business. And then he just started screaming at her and then he started screaming at that other guy that was standing there that he was trying to get to download the video. There was another guy there? Oh, yeah. And where'd you ask him to move from exactly? We don't have to, I don't want you to come outside no, and have gone. any contact. Well, he's always going to come back. Yeah, he's right in front of me. Josh, you know where to find me if you need me. Yes, right? Kathy, thank you. Thank you. Oh, what, what did he was standing say? right here. Oh, he so he's blocking her whole booth, you know? 
And we're out here for a reason, you know? We're out here to make money. Yeah. And she's too nice. She's not going to... I'm really sorry that happened. He's he's pissed off at us is what's going on, so... Okay. Yeah, no, he's right in front of my booth. They were trying to tell me to move and got angry and said... I'm certainly sorry that happened. <sighs> and, and that's and that's one of the dumb things, not dumb, it's one of the things where because it's a public sidewalk, there's not a whole lot we can do. He runs his mouth. I mean, I I wish there was something we could do to, to, to solve this kind of problem. Now, now, if he steps over the line where it's, where it's criminal, then we can do something. But really, right now, it's just him being loud and obnoxious, I guess, is the term I could use to describe his behavior. Um, so, but... If there's any other problems, yeah, I remember. I don't know if it was yeah, you. Just, I'm just back in the day. That's all. That's all we really wanted. Like, I was nice. Like, I was like, let me just move over. When I looked like, for the article, I was like, where, where is, is it? I don't see my name. Our non-emergency number is the top, and the 911. Obviously, if it's an emergency, you can call us via 911. So, so yeah, yeah. So, and and he's he's mad he's mad because we put him in a cop car two years ago, and he thought it was hot, and he thinks he would try to kill him. And he's fighting this one two years. Ago. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, I gotta go back to my booth. Yeah, if you want to give it to them. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. I will. Okay. I will keep up. Yeah. Yeah. I just ran out the station. I forgot to put my cards in my pocket. So, but, but I'm Josh. Josh, nice yeah. to meet you. Yes, ma'am, you too. Thank you so much, Selena. Yep. Selena, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No, and I'm really, again, I'm sorry it happened. I think, no, I think just your presence, I think it's oh, yeah. him to go It was away. enough to get him to move. Because yeah. just like that. He guy absolutely doesn't like me, so. Because <laughs> he thought that the guy was going to hit me. That he was going to literally oh, hurt me. Because he was that close to me. Because I was looking at Daryl going, oh, shit. But basically, it was just the statements that you told me he made. He didn't make any other statements that made you feel that he was going to harm you immediately. No, it was just those other no. statements. Okay. Because scared me because he was just he was so aggressive. Yeah. He came at me. Oh, thank you Don't for coming. Me, yeah, yeah. And we are just a. I'm like I'm eating lunch at my desk, so I can be here like in three minutes okay. or less. He moved, and that's that's great. Yeah, yeah. As long as that's all we. Need. Yeah, I was on the road for a while, but I picked up my lunch, and I'm like I can be here soon, or okay. I might just hang out, eat my lunch here, you never know. No, you're good. I think we're good. Thank so, you. Thank you. Yeah, anytime. So anytime. Anytime. Yeah, because he's no problem. He's a all right. All right. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Yep. I know, Justin. What's up, Justin? Don't you get in trouble for him. Don't you get in trouble because Mr. Stone right here will let me beat his ass. I can't do that. You all right, buddy? Doing all right? Yeah, I've been good, man. How you been? Good, man. Tired. Yo, get old. dude was over there kissing down there on that lady, man. I'm talking about this close. So I stood up because if a man would have hit her, I would have beat his ass. And then y'all have to take me to jail. <laughs> I would have given a damn. Well, just call me, brother, okay? That way you ain't got to worry about that nonsense, all right? I hear you, man. What's wrong with that dude? Isn't that some kind of harassment what he be doing? Because, I mean, if we got a problem with y'all, shouldn't you be doing that shit in front of y'all police station? You'd think, yeah. I would have been right there knocking on your damn door with that sign. Look at this shit here, buddy. Yeah, yeah. He Why is he messing up? Nothing better. Uh, get uh, off of work, man. I come to you. Have me a, drink my little tea and chill out for a minute. Just jerk off over there. Already. Yeah. Well, you've seen any more of that, man. Just call us, okay? He's here every fucking day. I know, every day. Yeah, so. All right, Justin, later, buddy. Yeah, See, hey, man, you be good, all right? Yeah, man. No, he's at home today. Here, let me turn this call, camera going off call over. That's 18 years old. Oh, <laughs> No more ice cream. Sorry, Charlie.